welcome to the Yorkshire Business Awards. I'm extremely proud to be opening these awards with this video because as a BBC business correspondent, I cut my journalistic teeth in this fantastic region. In the next couple of minutes, we'll be talking about business trends and we'll be talking to some of the experts who have their fingers directly on the pulse of Yorkshire business. And who better to start with than some of our judges and our sponsors. We asked them to put together their view on Yorkshire business this year as I speak to you in one brief phrase. Potential to grow. Dynamic and growing. Resilient. The Yorkshire powerhouse. Diverse. Showing strong signs of recovery. Grounded with a global perspective. A place to do business. Improving and buoyant. Confidence in our ability to grow. Simply the best place on earth. Yorkshire's economy is doing well. There's a, it, has a, it has a resilient, diverse economy represented across many sectors with some world-class businesses. And um, everybody is, is working very hard and becoming more productive and more profitable. It is tough, but you know, everyone's more than up for the challenge. I think businesses in Yorkshire are feeling reasonably optimistic. Um, certainly all of the surveys that get produced indicate uh, that there's some degree of confidence but that confidence is a little bit fragile. So I think we need to see Yorkshire businesses just take some initiative now to try and build on some of our successes, uh, encourage new businesses to grow, encourage existing businesses to, to link better together. Businesses are beginning to be more confident about starting to drive growth. Um, obviously, as we've come out of the recession and, and the economy starting to grow, more willingness to invest in their, their businesses and, and to start to really drive the strategy and that business forwards. Companies, um, or our clients are, are in uh, the, the sort of best uh, financial health that they've been in for, for several years um, and that obviously helps them in terms of investment whether it's capex or international expansion. Of course our awards also recognise other categories, small and medium sized enterprises, organisations that contribute to corporate social responsibility and also in Yorkshire, we produce great business leaders, don't we? You can see two of them over my shoulder. So there's a category for recognising the business leader of the year and also the board of the year. In terms of the leaders that Yorkshire are producing at the moment, I think it's um, obvious from the nomination list that there's strong candidates throughout there, which reflects on the region in itself. Um, you certainly need somebody who's got a profile in the business um, that works with the team around them and, and brings the best out of the team but also pushes the business on from a forefront and, and a leadership position. Invest in your people, invest in their training and their environment and from then on it's uh, important to build the right leadership and with the right leadership uh, your company and the right people the company can grow. When it comes to creating a successful board, I think it needs to be the right mix of people. They need to have the right skill sets, the right experiences to bring a, a good blend um, to the company that they're representing. And that's why I am so committed to the Northern Powerhouse. I'm throwing everything I've got at it. I've brought new science here, promoted the arts here, backed transport links here, brought investment from places like China here. I don't know if it will work, but I do know that if you don't even try, you're bound to fail, and I'm damn well going to try. So let's go and build that Northern Powerhouse. I passionately believe that the Northern Powerhouse should be made a reality. I believe it's, it's essential. Uh, I believe it's actually recognising what once happened in the North, the ability of the North to, to uh, collaborate and cooperate. We are, we are not competing between Leeds and Manchester, we're competing with the rest of the world. I think the challenge will be not to be insular. Um, we've got to look globally and all the issues that, we cut, you know, that are around the world, they tend to be global issues and so if you're not out there doing it across the world, the danger is you're not prepared and the danger is you'll shrink because somebody in some other country will come and steal your lunch. For, for the powerhouse, I think um, the ingredients are, are there in terms of good companies, good people as we'll, we'll recognise today, but I think that needs to be supported with a, with a framework and a clear strategy. Uh, transport is something I believe is essential, is, is allowing people to move, business to move, to be more efficient. So, uh, you know, I'd like to see more support in, in that area. So finally, the very fact that you're at these awards means you are interested in corporate social responsibility. As you can see around me and here, it is the time of Christmas cheer. 
Variety is the children's charity and it's all about raising badly needed funds to help children in this great region. The organisation Variety stands for the transformation of opportunity for some of the most vulnerable uh, children in our society. And I think that's what businesses want as well. They want to transform the communities and the opportunities and where they're based. And I think there's great synergy between what business is trying to do and what Variety is trying to do. The great thing about the Variety Awards is it's got great heritage. I'm proud to be uh, participating in it. And I think people invest a lot of time to, to recognise that these, these awards mean a lot, not just for, for the accolade of, of becoming a you know, board of the year or another award, but that actually the result of that is business in Yorkshire comes together to celebrate success and the byproduct of that is supporting such a great charity. So my final message is you've seen great Yorkshire business it's time for great Yorkshire businessmen and women to dig deep in their pockets and really support variety. It's been great talking to you have a great awards bye for now. <laughs>